is up you guys my name is Selena and today's gonna be a tutorial showing you guys how to do this computer transition and it's pretty simple if you just watch it through you can kind of guess how it goes but I wanted to give you guys some simple tricks that you can use so let's get started with the tutorial so my first clip here has me zooming in on this video that I already made so you can just play your clip in full screen or even just export your whole video project and then play it through so yeah, my first clip is of the laptop zooming into the video clip and the second clip is my actual video. So what I like to do is pick a spot in the video where it kind of just like cl changes clips or something and then put a marker there so I know where I should match up my clip. So I'm pressing M for marker and then we're going to go to our actual video and see where that starts. So you can just cut it and figure out where it starts. And then you can drag your first video clip to the second line and then drag the second clip underneath. And what you're trying to do is match it so that both of the two clips are the same clip at the same timing. So you can change the opacity to like 27% to see if it's actually like matching. And one tip you can use is use the audio. So when you're recording your laptop, you can record the audio of the music. And then if you have the music in your video that you're playing, you can kind of match up the two video clips and then see where the music will blend in. So it's honestly going to be pretty hard to kind of match it because you also have to adjust the scale and position. So for the second clip, I'm kind of just matching the scale and position so that it looks like it's exactly the same as my computer clip. Okay, so once you've adjusted the position and scale and rotation, you can go to your first clip again, and then you're going to need to delete the keyframe that you made when you were adjusting the opacity, and then you're going to press the keyframe button at 100%, right where the clip starts to meet the other clip. And then we're going to go a little bit forward and then just change that to 0%. So it should be kind of blending in. And maybe the scale isn't matching up anymore, so you might have to keyframe the scale of the top clip now and then make it so that it's coming forward to when the transition is happening. So basically this whole process is just matching the two clips so that they go together and then changing the opacity to create the cool transition effect. One thing you can use, and Taylor Cut Films did in his videos, were doing like glitch transitions. So you can do that, or you could add a light leak. So I'm just bringing in a light leak here, and this will create like a smoother transition. And because we did bring the quality a lot lower when we scaled our second clip in and adjust the position and rotation and stuff. After the transition happens, you can press the keyframe button for scale and position and rotation and then go a little bit forward and then just reset all of those so that it'll go back to, into its normal quality and what it's supposed to look like. And you can make the keyframes as wide as you want so that the keyframes are happening really fast and you can kind of notice that it's scaling out or you could spread it out and make it not so noticeable. So yeah, I just wanted to like kind of explain the effect because I guess so not a lot of people understand how it works. So I hope you kind of learned something from this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.